Hello everyone, welcome to another video. In this video, I will just show you uh, how payment links work on Stripe versus custom Stripe checkout code. So uh, yeah, there are two different ways how you can basically, uh, how your clients can basically check out with you. So they can either use your payment links, right? To get, you know, to basically pay you. Or what they can do is they can use a custom Stripe checkout, right? Um, that you kind of have on your website and that you can activate on your website. So I'll show you how to do both. So let's say you want to create a payment link, right? For payment links, you go, go to create, you go payment link, and then here you can add a payment link, right? Uh, obviously select the type of the product, right? You know, customer choose what to pay, products or subscriptions or anything, right? We add a new product. Here we need to add a new product, right? If it's recurring or one time, right? If it's recurring monthly or weekly or, uh, you know, uh, yearly or custom or every three or six months, right? You can do whatever you want here, right? Now, as you can see, this is how it will look like on your page as well on the mobile phone when, um, you know, people will check out, right? And you can also embed this um, button, right? On your, um, uh, or you can embed this payment link on your button on your website, right? Uh, and this is how it will look like, right? It's very, very awesome, very simple. This is confirmation page. Thanks for your payment, all that, right? You can also, you know, click don't show confirmation page, show confirmation page, right? Now this is one way of doing it, right? The second way is using custom Stripe checkout code on your website. Now, how can you do this? So basically uh, you have a pre-built check checkout page. This is how it looks like, right? Right here, as you can see, um, you have this is this is by the way Ruby. Uh, if you want to set it up, you will need to know a little bit of code. But if you don't want to, uh, if you don't want to use code, you can use paid members app. So this is basically a paid, um, you know, subscription. I think um, from what I saw, uh, you can also start your free trial as well. And uh, basically, what this does for you is uh, this is a shortcut where you don't have to, you know, copy all of this stuff to your website. You can just embed their uh, Stripe customer portal. They have hosted forms. They have Stripe checkout, as you can see right here. Uh, and this is basically, uh, you know, what you would need. Here you can see live demo as well. So if you go to a live demo here, we can see this is basically uh, how the checkout looks. Uh, you know, just need my internet to, to work with me here. As you can see, this is basically how Stripe checkout works. And you can also uh, basically um, embed this on your website as well, which is pretty, pretty awesome. Um, so yeah, they have Stripe checkout, they have customer aware checkout buttons and all of the other stuff that you need for your website. So as you can see, uh, we make taking payments easy and fun to set up. So it's really easy to set up. Uh, all you have to do is just start your free trial or sign up and then you can kind of connect these with your website and embed them on your website. So that's basically uh, what are the differences between Stripe payment links versus custom Stripe checkout code and how to use both of them. So thank you guys for watching and yeah, we'll see you in the next video.